Hello lovies, welcome to my channel. Those of you who are new, I'm Gina, AKA Gina Louise, like I say on all my videos. So today I'm going to upcycle a bunch of thrifted blouses, tops that I don't use. And also for this DIY, you're going to need some belt loops. I'm going to do, so I'm going to make a shawl from upcycling other fabrics, well, other tops. And I am also going to do one that you can wear every day to dress up a plain outfit with jeans. And I'm going to also do one that you could actually wear over a gown or a dress for a formal or a wedding. So I'm going to show you, it's going to be the same measurements, just different style fabrics. You're going to need a lightweight fabrics for these. So here are some that I am using. These are some tops that are lightweight. Um, I don't wear them for whatever reason, just don't like the way they look, whatever it may be. Um, some are thrifted, some have been sitting in my closet forever, but I'm going to do a blue toned one to wear with jeans. And I'm also going to do one in black and lace maybe some off-white in there. But anyway, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the belt loops off. I'm just gonna run my electric scissors across here, but of course you could use regular scissors. I'm just making sure that they're even here, but you will see later on in this video that I decided to trim off the extra denim on both sides of the loop. Make this shawl, I would like it to be 74 inches long and 18 inches wide. That is a measurement without the seam allowance. You can add a seam allowance if you like, or if you end up losing a half an inch from seam allowance, it's no big deal. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter, but these are the measurements that I went with. And now I am just taking the shirts that I decided to use and I am cutting them and then I will sew them all together until I get 74 inches long. For this shawl, I decided to use that denim blue t-shirt and this very soft, lightweight top that is also a denim blue. I love the way they look together. First thing I'm doing is I'm cutting off the sleeves because I will be using these sleeves in another project. As I started to design this in my head, I thought that this would look beautiful with lace added to it, which is something I do with most of my designs. So I took a thrifted tablecloth and I created a block pattern. So that white piece of cardboard that you see, oak tag actually, poster board, <laughs> is 18 inches wide so that I could use it to cut the tops, cut the lace, and then I'm going to sew the pieces together until I have a long 74 inch piece. Now that I have all my pieces cut, I am placing them right sides together and I'm going to bring them over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew them all together. I'm just pinning the pieces together because they are different weight fabrics. The t-shirt fabric is a jersey, it's stretchy, the lace is not, and I don't want it to move around in my sewing machine. Because of the weights of the fabric, they're a little off here, so I, after putting them together, I'm just going to cut a straight line along the bottom and make sure it is even all the way around. I 
I have all my pieces sewn together now and uh, the lace piece is in the center of the blue pieces but I would like the lace to be at the end of it like a scarf flowing at the very end and so I am cutting down the set not the center of the lace but I've decided to cut it uneven because I am going to add the belt loops to one side and I'm adding them six inches up from the lace now that my piece is measuring 74 inches long, I am taking it over to my sewing machine and I am going to put a hem, a seam allowance, around the entire piece. I do the long sides first and then I do the lace edges so that it is not too bulky in the corner. I'm going to fold it over once, sew it, and then I'm going to fold it over again and sew it again. Now that I put a hem around the entire scarf I am taking my belt loop pieces I am just trimming if there's any extra fabric on the back I'm removing it so it's not too bulky as a matter of fact I broke two needles doing this project <laughs> and placing them evenly along the bottom of the shorter piece of the lace about I believe eight inches I went eight inches up from the bottom and I pinned each piece here I am removing the bulk again I had a lot of bulk behind the the denim there was some of the pocket there was you know the the extra fabric the lining so I'm just cutting all that bulkiness out and I am pinning it along the bottom like I said eight inches up and I'm taking it over to my machine and I am sewing them on with a straight stitch and then I'm going to show you how you wear this shawl you can do it with any kind of fabric you can make this fancy you can make it every day I decided to make mine where I could wear it with a pair of jeans and just dress up jeans and a tank top and Soon you will see the final results. Close up of what it looks like with the belt loops pinned before I sew it on. Hey, my beautiful YouTube community. If you're enjoying this video and you want more upcycling and how to change your unwanted wardrobe or your thrifted items into something beautiful, different, unique, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And let me know if you're gonna try this project. I always love hearing from others who's actually gonna try this project. Now for the final results. And this is how you wear it. You take one side, you pull it through the belt loops, and there's so many ways you could wear it, off the shoulder, you could wear it like really slouching off both shoulders. It just looks so beautiful and so unique and I hope you love it. Eventually, the ends of the denim belt loops will fray from washing. It is something that I want to happen because I love that boho look. But if you want, you can always sew the end so it does not fray. But I want the fraying. Thanks for watching.